thing I really want to do is see if I can convince all of the Titans to go get glamour shots at Sears. <laughs> Yeah, like and but they have to do the like, like the, the laser. You have stuff. to do like the arm cross thing. Like he's like, no, put one arm in front of the. There it is. It's that right there. Mm. Yeah. And then I want to hang them on the walls <laughs> in the vault. It's really funny. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'll pay for it. <laughs> Just I'll PayPal you money. That would be amazing. All right, are you ready? Welcome to the whiskey vault. I'm Daniel. I am. Anticipating something oh. because he set it up. He said, he said, are you ready? It's another Brendan Kite, Titan of Whiskey. Daniel in the distance, do you hear that? I do. Could it be? Bruh, preposterous. We ran out of an effects budget. What do we do? What is this? It's a bracelet. Barrel select. That's oh. a cool hang tag. So we like High West. I want hang. We do like High West. Yeah. I think they are uh, really one of the first blending houses in America mm -hmm. who are owning the fact that they were blending from different locations yeah. and creating new interesting things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> I'm a huge fan of the creativity of High West. So it's not going to come across on camera. One of our favorite people. Yeah. Oh, from High West. Davin Topol. Davin Topol from Real Spirits. Yeah, he worked yeah. with High West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a High West guy. Uh, I always like. The, the the sparkly the hand blown bottle. So here's a few things going on. I don't think you're gonna notice. You know what that glass is? It's hand blown. Hand blown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hand blown for there's, the people. There's sort of a uh, rainbow effect on it. There is. There's like a rainbow sheen. Yeah. You know, like an oil slick on yeah. the water. It's. I'm. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but it has that same type of rainbow oil slick. That's mm -hmm. super cool. And then the glass itself, tiny, tiny little bubbles and, and specks. And it's heavy, man. This is. They got weight to it, yeah. which makes shipping more expensive. I mean, this was a costly choice. Yeah, no, I like the hell out of that. But one. I love it. I liked it. Yeah. yeah. So this is their double rye, a blend of straight rye. Yeah. But, but it's a Binnie's Select. Okay. And it is Armagnac finished. Oh, well, hold on now. Yeah, you said right? The Armagnac. Remind the people of what the Armagnacs are. It's in the Brandy family direction. It's in the Brandy direction. Mm -hmm. It's Armagnac region. A France. It this has, is it's one of these things that has to come from that region. From Armagnac. From yeah. the Armagnac region. Uh, one year, eight months old, in, in, uh, just in the Armagnac. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you? Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to get I want to get the double rye ready because we're definitely doing an A-B comparison if I can find the double rye. Oh, no. All we have is the old rendezvous. Oh, man. Ooh, I'm getting an herbal cinnamon wow. right on that nose. Herbal cinnamon and like a sprig of mint. Herbal cinnamon mint. Yeah, you're just bad at you're bad at your job is all. I came out of time. I know, I know. You had one job besides pour me this. Is to have the comparison. I don't want to make you feel bad. It's just that. You are bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> no, that's not it. I thought it was funny. I don't want to make you feel bad. It's just that you are bad, and you should feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't want to 
<laughs> Look, I'm not trying to offend anybody. But that guy's an <laughs> asshole. Your mom addresses you funny. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, herbal. Whoa. So. Vermouth. This smells like vermouth, right. like sweet vermouth, not not dry vermouth like in a martini, okay. but red sweet vermouth. I so I've I've handled I've even purchased bottles of vermouth to be able to make martinis at home. I have never had just a sip of vermouth by itself. Sweet vermouth, totally I, different than martini. I've never vermouth. had any vermouth by itself. Yeah. So I you say vermouth, I'm like I don't know. Now sweet vermouth goes into other cocktails. It okay. doesn't go into martini. Okay. It's it's red. Right. It's not. It's, I think I get, it's a red wine base versus a white wine base. It's anyway. I think yeah. I get a vermouth called like Plymouth or something. Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just a dry vermouth. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my favorite one is Noily Pratt. Um, you oily. <laughs> if we were willing to spend here, here's the thing. If we were willing to spend three grand a year every two years, we could have a wine license. That's like fifteen hundred dollars a year. Yeah, we could have a wine license. Sure. We could tape out a section of the barrel house for wine products okay. and we could have wine that we could distill or that we could we could source vermouth for martinis with our gin. Right. Right? And we only need to have like a 50 gallon drum that has vermouth or less that has vermouth and we just like refill our, our vermouth bottles from it right. and we use it in the bar. Right. And we just source vermouth so, from somebody. So opening open two days a week. I'd be like, eh, but we're now open four days a week. And we're headed towards seven someday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think so that, maybe? That'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be worth it. It gives, it gives the bartenders more options. Yeah. Yeah, more yeah. more menu items. for. Yeah. You know. Anyway, just a thought. So do you get herbal and then right underneath that cinnamon coming in for sneak attack? Yeah, absolutely. Cinnamon sneak attack. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so that's why I say I really need to show you the red vermouth. But it's in the direction of sweet vermouth with a cinnamon, mm-hmm. uh, like a fireball candy. Okay. Like the hard cinnamon candy, or like Red Hots. Congratulations, High West, you made Fireball. You made Vermouth Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> a very unpopular spirit yeah. with... A very unpopular public, candy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which is a, yeah. a whiskey. Actually, Fireball's people. very popular, just not with our crowd. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. Oh, man, that cinnamon just explodes in the palate. That's good, though. Yeah. I actually like it better than the nose. The nose is a little too botanical for me. Yeah. This, you know what this is? This is like aperitif. Oh. This is an aperitif. Oh. It smells and tastes yeah. like a straight up aperitif. I think the the home run audience for this is you like herbal rice, you mm-hmm. like the spice, you also like cinnamon, and you've been wanting to find cinnamon, which I most often find in bourbon. I'll find like a nice cinnamon note. I don't often find it in rye, but this, man, it has a really big cinnamon, that herbal, the spiciness, a little bit of mint in there. So I had forgotten that vermouth is an aperitif by itself. All right. Because I was thinking of uh, digestive. I think this says 51.3%. A little scratched off there, but yeah. Gin is considered an aperitif what? as a common choice? Really? Ozu, Fina, a lot of the Fino sherries and the Amontillados are considered an uh, aperitif. I'm thinking of uh, more of a hey, digestive. I think let's just never venture outside of whiskey. Because we don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking liqueurs. <laughs> I was thinking digestives, not aperitifs. Right. Digestive is after dinner, aperitif is before dinner. Uh-huh. So digestive, I was thinking in the liqueur can- category of like uh, Drambuie, mm-hmm. um, uh, these Fernet Branca, um, and m- actually even Malort is in that category. But it should, is there, anyway. Yeah, it's, it t- smells and tastes like a digestive. Mm-hmm. And then make some green apple on that finish a little bit. That's nice, man. I like, I mean, it's weird. I would not go back to it f- for any reason but what I said. Like at the end of a meal, it'd be a nice little ting of a finish. It is, it, it's a ding. It's a big flavor set. Yeah, right? yeah. And the proof is above 50%. It lingers like nobody's business. Yeah, it's very clingy. Yeah. But if you like big, bold, hefty flavors, that's throwing around the rye flavors and the cinnamon flavors. And then, um, <laughs> I'm doing it like the fancy people. Hey, have you seen those guys? I don't know. I'm not sure where I saw this. But people, you know, they're demonstrating how to taste. Mm-hmm. Yes, I yeah. <laughs> you know, like Eric Eric Wait does that. <laughs> and he showed it to me, and here's the depressing thing. Right. It totally works. 
It's it's easy. It's better with wine. All right. It doesn't work as well with whiskey. I'm for telling me. you right now. I'm not finding more flavors. No. If anything, the, if I do that, the, the ethanol, ethanol takes over. Yeah, the ethanol is. Whoa, but when we were doing exploding. the sherry tasting with him, yeah, that totally worked. Oh yeah. Like a lower proof. Yeah. Totally worked. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's look. This is wrong. <laughs> I I tend to not give a shit. Yeah. Believe it or not, um, I would feel really self conscious. In, in the middle of a quiet room, it just evaporates have, alcohol. Yeah, it does. No, it, it, on whiskey, it makes the ethanol explode. I would be very self-conscious just standing in a room of people enjoying their things. And then everywhere. And for me to feel so caught up in whether or not I'm getting maximum tasting, that I just go... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Well, it's important to me that I taste at... Peak capability. Peak. I don't care. Your what enjoyment anyone. of this situation is neither here nor there. I just need to taste it at another level. This reminds you ever watch Monk when it was out? Uh, okay, there's this episode where Monk goes to a winery and he's walking in and he's like, oh God, what, what are you guys? Well, oh, if you, this is your first time. She's like, you're going to take this and then you're going to swish it and then you're going to spit it out. And this is Monk and he's like, wait, spit it out? And, he's, and she's like, yeah. He's like, like, spit it? And he's like, yeah. He's like, is that what all these people are doing? And she's like, yeah, all at the same time? She's like, yeah, that's what they're going to do next. All of them? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, everyone in like fit, eight corners all like, pff, 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 they're all spitting. It's all this noise. And Monk is like, oh, it has a meltdown. <laughs> no, I, 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 I just feel, would feel bad. I'd feel too bad for everybody around me. Yeah. I, I couldn't go hard into the lip smack there. Daniel, on the other hand, Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. It's like gummy. It's like an old dude with no teeth. Now this is why I'm considerate. Because mm. what I didn't do is grab the other side of your head. And just pu- pull me in. And then stick that ear full into my mouth. Oh, and then... God. No, you're grateful you didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan L., can someone please explain to, explain to me? Bright and shiny. Yeah. We what am I that. looking for Just or reference to? So for me, it's very often. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, for me, it's the the flavors that you could almost describe as metallic. So and like the sugar that are brittle. So think of mm-hmm. like, um, like carbonation is bright and shiny for yeah. me, right? Whereas like a flat juice isn't, mm-hmm. right? So the things that sort of sparkle and yeah. and and have a lot of sharp, spiky yep. points. Yep. Those, to me, my brain categorizes as bright and shiny. Yes, and I think it's very often less of a flavor, and it's another one of these things that's very close to texture. Yeah, absolutely. And it's in the it, same category as smooth. Yes, it is smooth, and then the bright and shiny would be, for me, kind of like um, lighter, a little bit more alcoholic, often thinner. Mm-hmm. Um, and that thinness, the, the ethanol hasn't necessarily gotten tamped down a lot. It's, it's still almost metallic. It, oh yeah, almost a little metallic. Like there. vanilla frosting is shiny. And if it's bright and shiny but not metallic, maybe it's kind of like almost an effervescent. Type yeah, which of, is more like citrus. You're talking about carbonation and whatnot. Yeah. That type of thing. So yeah, I think less of a specific flavor and more kind of along the lines of texture. Is that Yeah, that's a really hard one to explain. Yeah, yeah. Indrid cold. If I ever get rich, that's what my living room is going to look like with the two whiskey removal systems. Without the two whiskey removal <laughs> systems. <laughs> I have never heard we, in all of the years of this channel anyone refer to us as whiskey removal systems. <laughs> <laughs> but effectively, that's what it is. Yeah. They put a whole bunch of things in here right. and we're slowly removing it. Pull it down. <laughs> One glass at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. So, what would have been great is to be able to compare that, but that's fine. It's fine. Neither here nor there. I mean, it's. I just think it'd bring a lot of value to the audience, is all. But, um. Come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's dividing If you fight me, I'll fight for a friend. You steal, you steal your lover's heart. <laughs> if you drink, may, may you drink with us. You.